Here are some simple instructions to use Visual Backnet with packet captures using wiretap function from Niagara JACE. First, open your JACE either using Workbench or directly with the web app. From there, find your Backnet network out of your driver, network under Backnet.com, and under network, find your MSTP port. You may have more than one. You can see in this case, there's no wiretap plugin palette added to my MSTP port. First, bring up the palette, go to your BACnet util palette. If you do not see it here, you can bring it up. Sorry. From there, go into wiretaps, forwarding wiretap. We're going to drag and drop this directly into the MSTP port. The default settings are correct for most cases. In my case, I have to change the IP address of the capturing device. I am using a computer running optical capture tool at the address 10202. Please make sure to keep the port as 49,000. Only that port number is supported by Visual Backnet. Visual Backnet uses port 49,000 to identify packet captured to be a wiretap capture. From there, in this example, I will use Optigo's Backnet Capture tool to capture these packets. You can already see that Wiretap is forwarding packets at five packet packets per second. Second, uh, by default, the Wiretap is enabled by default, uh, but if it is not, go ahead and enable it. Let us go to Optigo Backnet Capture tool. If you need to install it, see our article on how to install it. First of all, I will add an API key to associate this capture tool with a folder in my Visual Backnet account. I'm going to go to my Visual Backnet account. If you do not have yet a folder that you want to use, go ahead and create one. I'm going to call it JSON demo in this case. Go into the folder and go to API key. You can copy this API key and bring it into the capture tool. This associates this capture tool to the folder on the Visual Packnet server in my account. Second thing to do here is to add the port 49,000 used by uh, the JSON wiretap function. At this point, we're ready to capture. I'm going to run this capture, and we can see packets already coming in. Before we go ahead and upload the capture or stop the capture, which will automatically trigger the upload. I have to go into my Visual Backnet account here and add one more setting. Under custom port, we're going to port, add port 49,000, again, used by the JSON wiretap function. And now my account is ready to receive files from uh, the JSON wiretap, captured by the optical Backnet capture tool. In this example, we will stop the capture after a short of two minutes. In general, we do suggest using more than 20 minutes to capture data, valuable data. Once it is stopped, it should automatically upload to my folder because I have added the API key. We see the file was uploaded automatically and it is now processing. And voila, I'm logging in, opening the file that was captured using the JSON wiretap function, open in Visual Backnet, and here they are. Thank you, enjoy this function. Be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss the next video.